something to them and then kind of like the uh, community at large? That's a good question. So I would say um, to for the parents that have children and just feel like they have to put their dreams on hold because they have children. One, your children are watching you. You are your children's example. And if we are setting a precedent for them, we have to show through our actions, mm -hmm. you know, they follow us, you know, so we're leading by example when it comes to that, thinking about how I want my child to view me or what I want them to see me doing. The fact that despite all of these roadblocks or obstacles or things that I still move forward, I still push through it. Mm -hmm. And this is where I am now. I think that is a huge testament and a real life example for them to follow. Like my mom was amazing, right? Like I, I mean, I have to do something with my life, right? You know, I think that's a big thing. And then in terms of everyone in general, I feel like follow your heart, like listen to your heart, listen to what your heart is telling you. I, I really feel like we have it in us, mm -hmm. right? We have whatever we're supposed to be doing because I do believe that everyone has a special gift and the special skill that they can use to build their own business. It doesn't necessarily have to be all corporate. I mean, yes, working, we need we need that definitely, but we all have these skills and we got we have these passions within us and they're there for a reason, right? So we should be we should be sharing them with the world. I think that helps with our growth, but it also helps other people. And I would also say be very mindful of the company that you keep. Right. Um, the wrong people in your life can just debilitate you. Yeah, um, very much so. Yeah, and I can speak from personal experience when it comes to that. Um, I've had people in my life for years, mm -hmm. um, and I was stagnant. I didn't feel good about myself. I'm not blaming them for that, but I think I kept people around that were in my same headspace at that time. Mm -hmm. But when I decided to let those relationships go and I started to truly work on myself, so it was a very isolating period for a little bit, yeah. but truly started to do that self-work, that, that purging from all of that energy, working on myself, knowing my worth, recognizing my value and my worth is when I started attracting the people that have pushed and propelled me, positive people, happy people, just are glowing and are thriving and just believe that anything is possible. So just make sure you are very aware, aware and mindful of the people that you keep in your space. That energy is very important. Protect your oh, yes. peace, protect your energy. Yes, yes. Well said, well said. I appreciate it so mm -hmm. much. I love those word of uh, wisdom because I think it's important for parent especially because we give so much not to feel like our identity is just tied to our children right uh, we have to be able to also live our own dreams so when the time comes you can sit back or you know up above looking them like yeah i did that i did mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. that building has my name i mm -hmm. left a legacy for my kids mm -hmm. i showed them that you, when you're passionate about something you gotta follow it through mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So let me ask you, how does your son feel about the, the business? Was this something that you discussed with him or was it kind of just like, I'm just going to do it and then uh, let's just see how it goes? Well, I, I talked to him in terms of before I started anything, we have, we have conversations, right? Okay. So when he's, I think it's, it was really helpful to maybe for me, I don't know, but I think it helped him too, just in terms of when he's struggling in school, okay. um, that's, that's been a struggle for a while and just trying to get him to, he wants to be in school, but it's, it's hard Yeah, and we're working through you know classes and grades and structure. So it can be daunting for him. Mm -hmm. Um, but then it's like, when I talk to him, one about what I've, what I have been through, but also what I am currently doing, mm -hmm. literally you see me nonstop. I'm, I'm working, I'm eating, I'm cooking, I'm working, I'm going to the <laughs> gym, I'm working. Right. <laughs> so right. He, he sees that. And then what I noticed too, is he'll ask me like, well, what happened to your book? What, like you, you started it last year. Like, where is it? I'm like, okay, right. that's fair. 
Yeah. That's, so he's kind of like your accountability he, part. He, is. he too, holds me yeah. accountable. He asks yeah. about my Mary Kay business. I had my launch party. Um, I think it was two weeks ago, like when I first had a launch party and he was like, well, how did it go? Mm -hmm. Like, do you, did you like it? You know, are you going to keep doing it? So he is definitely my, my support and my accountability partner. Okay. That's really good. That's really yeah. good. I'm glad to hear that because I know, uh, some parents, sometimes it's a challenge, but it's a little bit different because you, you okay. have a young man. But yeah. when sometimes the kids are younger, it's kind of hard to make them understand because the thing is, we just don't see you. That's all that matters to us. I mean, everything yeah. you do, it don't really matter. And yeah. stuff. So yeah. It's good that you have that on site. You have that at home. So even when you when you don't feel like doing anything, you have someone in your ear saying, mm -hmm. hey, uh, how's that book? Like, where we at? <laughs> right. <laughs> so. right, right. So we 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 are each other's accountability partners. And I, I, I do agree and I appreciate the value of this, this, um, this season in our relationship because I check in with him about his schoolwork, mm -hmm. you know, how the course is going, how are the grades, do you need support? Did you need me to proofread that? And then he checks in like, okay, when are you gonna when are you gonna get this book finished? Like, you <laughs> right, right, exactly. Okay, good. Well, Crystal, this is actually the end of our interview. I appreciate you making time for this because I know you are a busy, busy, busy lady. I mean, I thought I was busy, but when I hear you talking, I'm like, whoo. You beat me. <laughs> you beat me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your your time and stuff. But we will definitely will uh, keep in touch. We we actually need to get together and have lunch. I mean, we do. You you, you just like you know thirty minutes away. It's not we that do. far. We do. Stuff, so. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for rescheduling. Appreciate your flexibility. I've of been course. wanting to join. I appreciate your patience <laughs> as we rescheduled <laughs> multiple times. You are welcome. Enjoy the rest of the day. It's supposed to be a warm weekend. So go out and uh, get some vitamin D. It's much needed also, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Diane. Thank you. Have a great one. All right, you too. Thanks, Diane. Bye. Okay, bye.